Feel free to check out my tea public after the video and support me on Patreon. Watch till the end of the video for more. Hey everyone, today's video is going to be a little different from the usual like movie or TV show review because um today we got some Godzilla pre-workout from Rise. Look at that. Yeah. This is an officially licensed product from Toho and Rise to uh, you know, help promote uh, the Godzilla IP, whatever it is that Toho's doing. Uh, now, y'all may have noticed a trend where Toho's been putting out like a bunch of stuff like hot sauces, chocolate bars, sodas, tissues, tea and whatnot. I mean, I, as like a huge Godzilla fan, none of that really interested me. But when I found out that they were doing Godzilla pre-workout, I, I had to get one. I mean, one of my favorite things to do is work out, and being a lifelong Godzilla fan, I felt that I, I just needed to get this. Now, what completely sold me on this pre-workout was the fact that Noel Dazel, uh, give him a follow, by the way, amazing person, uh, was promoting this. Anyway, without further ado, let's uh, take a closer look at the packaging. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging here. We got a really, really nice embroidered Godzilla design right there. I really like uh, the blue that's on this packaging. Like, I, I, I really like how it, it's like glowing when the light hits it. So yeah, we got Rise Godzilla pre-workout, officially licensed collaboration. Clinically dosed, full transparency label, always good to know. We got Monster Berry Lime, which I hear is uh, kind of uh, tastes like some sort of like um, like blueberry Sprite of sorts. Uh, yeah, that's that, that's what I'm hearing. And we got a uh, we got 40 servings of it. That is, if you're doing uh, one scoop. If you do two scoops, uh, then it would be 20. And we got. The little Godzilla logo right there. We got No Dazel signature pre-workout right there. Uh, suggested use, and I'm glad they put this on here. Take one to two scoops approximately 25 minutes prior to, to your workout because it's not really gonna kick in at the right time. And the one to two scoops part is uh, very important because uh, most pre-workouts contain uh, caffeine, which if you'll focus right here, uh, this like like this this here contains 200 milligrams of caffeine per serving. And the thing about caffeine is that it is it is very very addictive. The body will grow a tolerance to it if you keep consuming it. And mass consumption of caffeine can lead to diarrhea, dizziness, uh, restlessness. Um, abnormal behavior of the heart, uh, some, some some pretty bad stuff that no one wants happening to them. All right, so uh, these, these are the supplementary facts. I will be going over these during the workout montage that'll happen later in the video, uh, just to explain what all this uh, stuff means and what it does. Let's see, we got powered by premium ingredients. Got some more labels on there. We got pump energy strength, the advanced benefits of uh, Rise Up pre workout. And you can follow them right there, and there is their website. So, and oh, I just noticed this Fuel Your Greatness. Nice. It's cool. Really, really just sick packaging all around. Um, I, I, I am very glad that, that they did put that warning up there, and while I wish it was a bit more clear, um, like, I, 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 am, I am glad that it's telling us how much caffeine there is, though I do wish uh, it was uh, highlighted a bit more so that way it could stand out more, because, again, a lot of uh, health risks when it comes to mass consumption of caffeine. So yeah, it, it, I mean, I mean, I mean, just just to put it out there, if you're thinking about picking this up or any pre-workout in general, please use it responsibly. And um, anyway, without further ado, let's go on to the workout. But first, gotta have the most important meal of the day. Uh, got some uh, eggs, some oatmeal, and uh, some water. 
uh, mixed with some creatine, BCAAs. Uh, I stirred it instead of like, you know, sugar. Good. I know I'm a madman, uh, but uh, yeah, let's dig in real quick. So now I'm actually kind of excited, really looking forward to uh, trying out this free workout. And uh, one thing that helps is that uh, first thing I wake up to this morning is Mel Basil himself commenting on my Instagram post. Uh, you know, me posting about getting the free workout in the mail, so. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really hyped up right now. How about y'all? I'm hyped. When this came in the mail, it came with this uh, pretty neat uh, shaker from Rise themselves. Uh, it, was, it, was like a, it was like a free little bonus, so that was that's really cool. So we'll be using this to consume the Godzilla pre-workout. So real quick, I'm going to fill this up with water. Give this a little shake. Okay, it looks like little crystals in there. It's like fragments of uh, Godzilla's dorsal fins. And again, recommended uh, you know use is one to two scoops. Uh, I'm gonna do just one scoop. But if you really want a very uh, very intense pump, a very intense workout, then two scoops is recommended. Okay, put that in there. Thankfully, that caught some of it. <laughs> Got to give it a good shake. A little sneak peek right there as to how it looks like when it's all done and shaken. Cheers. Oh, wow. This is pretty good, actually. I don't know who said it tasted like blueberry Sprite. I mean, it tastes nothing like Sprite, but it's still, like, pretty damn good. And again, it's recommended that you take it 25 minutes before your workout, so that way, by the time you start training, that's that's when it kicks in. That's when you really start to experience its results. Uh, thankfully, the gym's about like 10 or 15 minutes from where I'm at. Uh, I'm not completely ready to go just yet, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good to uh, make it some time real quick. So going off of taste alone, this is some really good stuff, but as we know, it's more about the fuel than it is the flavor. So let's get our pump going. But well, real quick, gotta do a little fit check here. I know how much you guys like the Otaki Gym shirts. Uh, not only do we have the dumbbell variant, we got a barbell variant as well. Uh, you know, get one, link in the description over at my T Public. Uh, also put up uh, get a robo and great Mazinger gym shirts as well. There's probably gonna be some more gym shirts on the way. I mean, I'll I'll put up more stuff when it comes to me. So yeah. All right, here we are. East Side Dojo. So right now I'm already starting to feel some of the effects of the pre workout. It's starting to kick in. Hasn't kicked in completely just yet, but I feel it. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead get this warm up going, get this training going, and uh, you know, during the montage, gonna have the supplementary facts described out and uh, you know, broken down for you. So let's get it. Alrighty guys, here we are at the workout. Today's nothing too hard, just a good full body lift. We got some front squats, pull ups, straight legged RDLs, incline bench, Zotman curls, skull crushers, and abs, which is perfect because I get to see how it affects me when I train essentially every part of my body when it kicks in. I'm also gonna mention that prior to this workout, I've taken some creatine and BCAAs to help keep me in good shape, but the only difference between those products and pre-workout is that Creatine helps me maintain energy during training, BCAAs reduce soreness and help with recovery. And while both do benefit muscle growth, pre-workout is made to reduce fatigue as it helps build endurance during intense training. And again, this product contains 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is linked to many health problems, so please use this product responsibly, otherwise you will not experience the proper effects of the pre-workout and you'll be putting your health at greater risk. Also going to mention each supplement in terms of per serving, so keep that in mind. 
This pre-workout's got 5.5 grams of Rise's signature pump fuel, which contains 3.5 grams of l serdiline and 1 gram of serdiline nitrate. These work solely to improve blood flow and help your arteries relax by boosting the production of nitric oxide in your body. Alright, so I'm about a little more than halfway through my workout here. As you can see, I look good, but I also feel good. I'm definitely feeling the pre-workout kick in. I'm doing, doing pretty solid so far. Uh, definitely got some good amount of energy going. Definitely uh, feeling that little muscle endurance. I mean, I'm performing really good. So uh, yeah, I say this pre-workout's, you know, again, great stuff so far. Back to the montage. Next is 3.2 grams of beta-alanine. Beta-alanine is a non-essential amino acid that helps the production of carnosine, which helps build muscle endurance. Then we got 2.5 grams of beta-ene anhydrous. This part just helps boost your metabolism, which is the chemical reactions in your body as it turns your food into energy. Then there's 2.5 grams of creatine monohydrate. As I said before, creatine helps you maintain energy during intense training by storing more water in your muscles. Remember to hydrate. We also got 800 milligrams of choline bitartrate. Thankfully, this is nowhere near too much as it can cause health problems like dizziness, diarrhea, restlessness, vomiting, and even liver damage. Consuming the right amount of choline bitartrate can help improve focus, memory, reduce cholesterol levels, and overall just help your athletic performance. There's also 250 milligrams of pink Himalayan sea salt. Now this helps with recovery, helps relieve respiratory diseases, regulate blood sugar, balance the hydrogen levels in your body. Though fair warning, this can increase your libido. However, just be thankful that November has passed us already. Up next, there's 175 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, which is a good ways below how much you should take daily, which is 400 milligrams. And because it's a form of caffeine, it does help with stimulation, but also helps you lose fat more efficiently. Then we got 150 milligrams of hydrolyzed casein tripeptides. Really good stuff right here. It can treat high blood pressure, high cholesterol, anxiety, fatigue, epilepsy, and it even helps with cancer prevention and stress, so thank Godzilla for that. After that is 100 milligrams of theobromine. All you need to know is that it helps with your overall cardiovascular system by helping you breathe better and helps with muscle recovery during sleep, especially in the lungs. Coming up is 25 milligrams of Zumixar Extended Release Caffeine. This is a form of caffeine that actually helps reduce the chances of a caffeine crash and is designed to help build energy in the long term. Fair warning, this is still a caffeinated product and is still a stimulant. Again, use responsibly. And finally, there's 10 milligrams of vincamine which is designed to help improve the overall health of your nervous and cardiovascular systems, making sure it's all running smoothly during performance. Fair warning, this product is actually banned in Australia, New Zealand, and Canada because they classify vincamine as a cognitive enhancing supplement that could be harmful due to how it is linked with irritation of the stomach and intestines, dizziness, and headaches. Although, as long as you take this product responsibly, you should be good. All right, guys, I just got done training, and as you saw, the Godzilla pre-workout uh, helped me get a real good pump, gave me a lot of energy throughout my workout. Uh, I, I mean, in fact, I even went heavier than I usually would. So, yeah, that's, yeah, the Godzilla pre-workout, it's some really good stuff. Toho, Rise, Null Bait, they did something real good this time. Like, wow, I honestly recommend this pre-workout. It's got a lot of really good supplements in there. Uh, gives you like just enough energy just to go that uh, extra 10% or 20%, however hard you want to go. Overall, I give it a 10 out of 10. It's phenomenal work that those guys put in that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, feel free to contribute to the Patreon page if you want to see more stuff. And uh, also check out the Tee Public if you want some gym shirts. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go eat. And that pretty much just about does her. Take it easy, y'all.